It's late. It's, I don't know what time it is. And there's a hissing noise somewhere in the background. Can you hear it? So, my name is Frank Cole. Uh, I wrote the Hash Brown Winter series. That's what I'm probably known for most. Got some other books out as well. Uh, my vlog is going to be about the middle grade boy, the middle grade kid. Boy, because I'm a boy. Um, what goes on in their minds? If you're going to write for middle grade, you've got to know what makes this kid tick. Uh, and middle grade typically goes from 8 to 12 years old. I mean, 8 and 9-year-olds are starting to read bigger books nowadays. I have two 8 to 12-year-olds. I have my 8-year-old and an 11-and-a-half-year-old. And they're both boys, and they're both nuts. And uh, I use them to write my stories. So what I want to do with this vlog is take three different things that you can look at for when you're writing for middle grade boys, getting into the mind of that middle grade boy. Um, the first one is how does your middle grade boy react and, and how does he act around parents and authority? Um, number two is how he acts and deals with the opposite sex. And then three, scary situations and violence. Number one. Uh, dealings with adults. Most 8 to 12 year olds will have a, a good a level of respect for an adult. There are always going to be children that are end up in the principal's office or that are getting suspended. Or, but that can't be the norm. Your main character, if he talks back to teachers all the time, that needs to be breaking the norm. And that needs to be shocking for the other class students. See what I'm saying? You can't have uh, disrespecting children to adults and everyone just accepts it like that's okay. Um, what makes a good reading is when your kid, your character does that and uh, and your the reader can live vicariously through what this character is doing, you know, being a little disrespectful or, be, or, or getting away with something or or breaking the rules. That That's okay. That makes, that makes a good book. However, that can't be the norm. When you get into teens, uh, high school, junior high, high school, forget it. It's out the window and they don't have respect. I mean, it's more normal to, to be disrespectful to a teacher just so you can impress the girl in the classroom or, or impress um, your buddies. Um, I'm not talking about that right now. I'm talking about middle grade. So middle grade, you have to have... It keeps going dark on me. Boys in the opposite sex. It does change, believe it or not, from 8 to 12. Uh, my 12 year old likes girls. He likes them. He's interested in them. Uh, he, he gets bashful and, and awkward around them, but, uh, he makes fun of them. That's how he copes. Uh, he'll talk to me, um, he'll talk to his mom and tells her the, the girls that he likes and then the, the feelings that he has, but he's not going to really act on it. Uh, when he's around the girls, he might typically make fun of her, uh, rip, rips on her, um, you know, he shows off. Unless it's someone that they grew up with, um, you know, there's always neighborhood kids that they grew up with and they played together since they were little, and then, and then they had this friendship relationship at school. But that's typically not normal. Girls, boys that like girls, will, they'll travel in packs, and they see the girls they like, and they all seem to like her, and they all make fun of her. And then that changes as they get into uh, junior high, um, I mean, there's boyfriend and girlfriend little pairing off things in elementary school, but you and I both know that's nothing, nothing big. Uh, but when they get into junior high, that's when it gets more serious. That's when you when you start to impress and show off to the girl, but not make fun of her as much. Uh, I'll give you an example. In my Hash Brown Winter series, um, I, I introduce a character in the third book named Melanie Thumbs Nottingham, and she's kind of hash browns nemesis because she can do everything that hash brown can do she's uh she's talented she's athletic she's skilled and uh, drives hash brown crazy because he wants to be the best but you kind of can pick it up in in the story that there's more to it than just that there's more to it than i just can't stand that girl because she beats me it's more to it that i can't stand her but i like her and i would like her to like me too and i wonder what she's thinking um sometimes it's subtle 
But that's kind of what happens with 11, 10, 11, and 12-year-olds. They, they, they want that girl to be impressed by them, but they don't want it to be that obvious to everybody else. My 8-year-old son, he, he'll punch a girl. You know, he'll punch her. He wants to play with action figures, and he wants to play video games, and he wants to, uh, and he's really dirty. But in sh and the girls, you know, the girls that are in our neighborhood, they're, they're, they don't want to do that. They, and so they just don't even mesh. There's, it's just, you don't see eye to eye with me at all. Why would I want to hang out with you? If you're writing a boy book, a boy centered book, the girls can be, it's someone like the kid grew up and was in the neighborhood and they've been friends since they were little, but there's that, there starts to be a separation at, at, at that age. Scary is good. Creepy is better. It's downright scary where it, it, it just terror, terrifies the child is not going to be good reading. 8 to 12-year-old, they're starting to get involved in the reading. The parents are excited about them reading. They want to find something that's going to click with them and, and spur on more excitement. And creepiness is fantastic. Creepiness works. Um, I'll give you an example of a great creepy story. Um, it's the uh, Books of Elsewhere by Jacqueline West. Lots of great creepiness in that. When you read that, you're like, even the, the, the adults and the parents will get you know, goosebumps. Like, ah, it's a little, a little freaky, but it's not horrifying. Uh, when you start getting into just evil situations, like your evil nemesis, your, your, your bad guy can't be the devil necessarily, unless you're writing that type of book, which, I mean, you can, but for middle grade, why? Why would you do that? I wonder why, I'm wondering why you didn't tell me about this. You know, you guys just said something. It's a cowlick. Yes, I'm losing some hair, but this is a cowlick. Anyways, uh, the, whole, the, 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 the bad guys, the situations, there's a limit. Let me tell you, your bad guys, your, your antagonists, whatever you want to call them, they have to have some endearing qualities about them. A monster that that could be a little bumbling at times, or or a bad guy that is idiotic and makes mistakes. The character um, in the book can see that. That makes it a little less horrifying and more okay. I can keep reading. I'm a little creeped out right now, but creepy is good. Creepy is great for kids. Uh, if you don't believe me, what's their favorite holiday other than Christmas? It's Halloween. They love Halloween. They love to get creeped out. My 11-year-old, he loves scary movies. He wants to watch all the scary movies, but there's a there's a limit when it starts getting into evil, where it's um, you know devilish. It's too much for him. It's over the top. He can't handle it. He has nightmares. He gets sick, and it can just turn him off to the genre entirely. Creepy good, satanic bad. Um. And same thing with violence. You start killing off characters in your middle grade book, it's no longer middle grade. Uh, I mean, you and I guess you can kill off characters, but it depends on how you kill them off. Like your parents dying in a fire, um, like the series of unfortunate events at the beginning of the story, um, tragic, but they can read on, and then it's not going to destroy them. Um, you know, a main character getting chopped up or murdered. Not good. So that's it in a nutshell. I mean, I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense, but um, hopefully you can understand as you're writing for your middle grade, if you're writing for middle grade boys, to see inside their mind, it's just a muddled mess. But uh, they they have they have certain ways they respond and react to adults and authority. They have certain ways they respond to the opposite sex, and when you incorporate violent or scary situations into your into your novel your book you've got a there's certain guidelines and certain limitations to it but that's it that's all i got again my name is frank cole i wrote some books hopefully you'll check them out hopefully you learn something you can always give me a buzz shoot me an email hop on over to my blog or or follow me on facebook or twitter and uh i'd love to hear from you i hope you have a good time at write on con and that's it. Goodbye.